welcome to My Little Paintbrush. I am Miss Sarah, and today we are going to paint a bunny in a carrot car. So fun, it's super cute. I'm excited to do this with you. So a couple things before we get started. Even though we are not creating in the studio together, remember that Miss Sarah's rules still apply. We are all unique as artists, and that means we paint differently. So if your painting looks different from mine, that's awesome, you're doing something right. That's what makes our world so beautiful. So be kind to yourself and enjoy the process, okay? Let's get started. So I'm gonna grab a medium brush. It's a flat, but it's a medium size, not super big or small. You can use any size to get started. I just wanted something that will take out any drips and smooth out my paint easily. So I'm gonna first rinse it in my jar to loosen up the bristles, gently tap off the water, and our carrot is our number one place to start. It's gonna warm up our paint muscles. We're gonna go ahead and fill in our carrot. We have some orange right here, and I wanna mix a little bit of white with my orange. So let's go ahead and do that together. Let's mix that white in there. It'll just go on a little easier, and that also will help us darken the edges of our carrot later on. So I'm saving some orange for later. Let's go ahead and fill it in here. I'm just gonna carefully follow our carrot car along and fill in all that space. Up and down. We're gonna have to slow down when we get around our wheels, right? Because we need those to be yellow later. Let's, not, let's try really hard not to paint in those wheels. If we do, that's the beauty of acrylics. Super easy to come back and cover it up. So no worries. Okay, so let's just fill in back and forth. Make sure you don't have any drips showing. Let's do our edges nice and slow. All the way around our bunny. We go. See how I'm trying not to pick up my brush as I do my sides? Give that a try. See if you can do it. It takes some practice to get that. This is a good time to practice. Okay, so I'm going to come down the front now, fill in that space, trying not to pick up my brush as I go. Now we've got to go around these wheels. So I'm going to slow down around the edge and let's get the bottom part of our car. Good work. This is a fun little carrot. Okay, I'm going all the way around. And now you can put another layer of orange if you want, but I think one is pretty good. And I like to leave brush strokes going diagonally. So I'm going to go back and forth this way. So it looks like the grains of my carrot is moving this way. Okay, side to side. Go around the wheel and then go to the side here. Let's put those brush strokes going that direction. That way all of our, the grains in our carrot are moving that way. All right, we're gonna go around our wheel and go back and forth, fill that in. Super careful, I got a little orange in my wheel. That's okay. We're gonna go down this way, down and around, trying not to pick up our brush. Okay, go around that wheel, really careful. All right, you guys, good job. We should be warmed up now, ready for a challenge, right? We're gonna do a little bit of floating on our wheel. So I'm gonna paint the center now, I'm not rinsing my brush. Okay, we have orange on our brush, and I'm gonna add a little bit of white to the corner, just like that. All right, if you wanna wait just a minute and watch me for a second to see how I do this, you're going to put the white towards the center of your wheel, just like that, okay? And the orange is towards the outside of your wheel. Then you're gonna spin your brush around so the center is lighter in the middle, see that? This is tricky stuff. You can just paint this wheel orange if you want. This is just an extra little detail that you can add if you wanna try it. 
we always like to teach our artists a little bit more every time. So let's fill in, try filling that wheel in with some white in the middle. So I've loaded my brush again with some orange on one side and white on the other. I'm gonna spin my brush around. You see when I do it just like that, it puts a little circle in the middle with white in the center, huh? Now I'm just gonna branch out and get a little bit bigger. Just like that. Make sure you have enough paint on your brush to get you all the way around. If your brush isn't loaded enough, this might not work for you. Make sure you have enough paint on there. Okay, we're gonna spin around just like that. And if you try not to pick up your brush, you'll get a smoother circle. Good work. That was a little tricky, right? Okay, let's rinse our brush. Make sure it's super clean. For our next step, we're gonna let the wheels dry and our carrot dry for just a minute and come right over here and paint the green in our carrot, sticking out of our carrot over here. Kind of gives the illusion of an exhaust pipe, right? <laughs> so we're gonna add a little bit of white to our green. Always add some white, brighten up that color. You can even add a little yellow if you want to make your green more limey. Okay, I always like to add a little bit of yellow to my green. Okay, and let's go ahead and fill that in. We're gonna still use the same brush. I haven't switched brushes yet. I'm still using my medium flat. I'm gonna go around each side without picking up my brush. Okay, all the way around each side there. Good work. And we're gonna go off this one. You notice I just use my wrist and my fingers to go around the edges. Takes a little bit of concentration, huh? Okay, and let's brush towards the carrot car. So all of those brush strokes are coming away from the car. Right? Now as we get close to our car here, I wanna slow down so I don't paint my orange. There we go. Good job. That's pretty cute. Okay, let's just go straight down next to our carrot car to get that clean line and then brush away. Just like that. Give us those strokes coming away from our car, right? Okay, just like that. Now you can add as many layers of green as you want, but you see how I'm making sure I don't have any thick paint showing up? That's the goal. You wanna brush out any thick paint as you go, okay? Load it, brush it out. Good work, super cute. Okay, you finished that, let's rinse our brush. Make sure it's really clean for our next step. I'm gonna wipe it on my napkin Double check it, because we're using some light colors now. We're gonna go to our bunny. Now our bunny is outlined with brown, but I'm gonna show you how to do a little bit of floating on our bunny. Okay, so let's use our flat brush here, and I'm gonna put a little bit of dark brown on the corner, just like that. You can barely see it, right? Just a tiny bit there on the corner of my brush. And I'm gonna come over here to my bunny's belly and just do one stroke down with that dark brown. Okay, just like that. And leave it alone. Okay, straight down. Now if you need to, you can add white to your brush. See, I just added some white there. If you feel like you have too much brown, you can put a little bit of white on the corner of your brush too. But the idea is to keep that brown just on one little corner of your brush as you go. And we're just gonna, we're just gonna float the edge of our bunny's head here, the back. I'm not doing the whole head. You can go all the way around if you want. I'm just gonna add a little bit of shading to the back. And what this does is it adds some dimension to our bunny. Now if you add it, if you feel like you have too much brown, no problem. All you have to do is add some white to your brush 
and brush it out, okay? Super easy fix. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit to my um, ears right here. We're just gonna float some of that brown right along the edge of our ear. See how it kind of fades away? That's all you wanna do. Just let that fade out. And you can add it to the top of this one as well if you'd want to. Okay, I'm not putting it all over, just in some areas of my bunny. Okay, I'm gonna add a little more white to that, just to make sure it's fading out enough. Super cute. Okay, let's make sure you have a white belly, so rinse your brush and add some white here. There we go. Cute. I like it. So once you've done your floating, let's rinse our brush. Again, super, super good. Make sure it's really clean. Okay. And now we are going to switch brushes again and use our detail brush. It's this really small one, right? We use this to do small areas. We don't want to brush with this one. It will really ruin a detail brush. So we don't want to do large spaces with a detail brush, but I'm going to load it up with some white and we're going to add some stripes to our carrot car here. You can add as many as you want. I'm just going to brush straight down from the top. Okay. You can make it as thick of a line as you want, but the idea is to be thick on the top and then thin as you pull away. So press down at the top to get a thicker line. And as you come down, pull your brush away and it gets smaller. See that? Press down, pull your brush away. And that's what gives you the thinner line towards the bottom. Okay, let's add it right here too, right below our bunny. I'm gonna press down. And the other idea is to have stripes on our car that are different sizes. Okay, you can have some long, some short, right? But press down and pull away. Let it land where it lands. All right, so I have two there, one coming here, and I have three right here on the hood of our carrot. So I'm gonna press down, pull away. Okay, press down, pull away. And one more right here, press down and pull away. I'm gonna make that one a little thicker, just for fun. Okay. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It's a carrot, all right? So these grains are not perfect. That's what makes it so fun and cute. All right, so let's let those dry for just a minute. Make sure you have enough white on there because next we're gonna put yellow right over the top and the white is what covers up our orange. Okay. Make sure you have enough white covering your carrot. Good work, super cute. Okay, let's rinse the brush. Make sure it's super clean. Let that white dry for a minute. And let's go back to our bunny. All right, I'm gonna switch brushes and use a smaller brush. It's a small flat, but you just want a smaller brush that isn't a detail brush. Okay, because we're gonna paint a larger space now. So I'm gonna fill the middle of my ear in with some pink. I have red on my plate. I'm gonna add a little bit of white to it, just like that, okay? To make it pink. You can add more white to make it more pink. You get to decide how pink you want that ear. I'm making mine pretty light, All right? I'm gonna come up here and paint the inside of my bunny's ear. I just have one side of my ear showing, the other one's tucked behind it. So I'm gonna brush in the direction of my ear towards my bunny's head. Okay, there you go. And the reason we're using a brush other than the detail is because stuff like this can ruin our detail brush. And it'll leave thick clumps of paint. We want something that will smooth our paint out. Just like that, okay? So be sure to switch brushes up. I'm just gonna add a little more 
red to my ear. I want it a little darker. There we go. Super cute. Okay, now that the center of our ear is done, we're gonna rinse our brush again. Lots of rinsing, right? As artists, we have to take care of our brushes and we don't want to mix our colors too much. Okay, this is gonna be fun. We're gonna add a nose now with our detail brush, okay? And a mouth. Now, the thing I want you to do though is flip your brush around. We're gonna use the back of it to get ourselves a chocolate chip in our pink color and our red. You can make this nose as um, dark as you want and come right here to our nose and fill it in, okay? You can use the back of your brush and swirl it in a circle to get that nose or you can just brush it in with your detail brush like that. Two ways to do that. So whatever is easiest for you, you can kind of experiment with it, right? And do something that works for you. There's our little nose. Now we're gonna put some red on our detail brush, just like this, and load it up with some red and put a smiley face on our bunny. So kind of figure out where you want your eye. My eye's gonna come right across here where my nose is, and I'm gonna add a little smile right below it. There we go. We're gonna just give ourselves a little smiley face, just like that. Cute. Okay, now I wanna add a rosy cheek. Now here's the trick with this little rosy cheek. You want to make sure you add a lot of white to your red. See how I've added a lot of white here to my red? I want it super light. Okay, I'm gonna come right here next to my mouth and swirl my brush around in a circle motion, just like that, and give myself a rosy cheek. Cute, and make it. Okay, let's rinse our brush. Again, really good. Before we move on, we're gonna keep using this brush. Okay, I'm gonna put some brown on it now. Just the brown. Add some water to it. It might have seized up on you and gotten a little bit thick. Okay, and you want it to be thinner, like yogurt. So I'm gonna make sure I add some water to it. Okay, and we're going to outline our bunny. Here we go. Nice and slow, go around the edges of your bunny. We're gonna outline it. Here we go. Now the head is the trickiest, right? Because circles are tricky. So we wanna go nice and easy here around our head. Just like that. Okay. There we go. And let's go ahead and follow it around our ears. Keep on going. Give yourself a neck right there. Okay. We're gonna follow it all the way back up and we're doing it with brown because our bunny is shaded with brown. All right, now I'm gonna come over here, do my ear. And follow our ear around, all the way around the edge. Make sure you don't have too thick a paint on your brush. Wipe it off if you need to, okay? Let's try and get one swoop here. Ooh, good work. Remember, if you have enough water in your brush, you should be able to do that. Go all the way around without picking up your brush. But if you don't have enough water, that could be pretty tricky to do. Okay, I'm gonna go all the way around. I'm gonna make sure have enough brown on there to show up really well. Let's go around the other side. Oh. There we go. So cute. I love this little bunny. Round that out. All right, now 
we're gonna go around our nose too. Let's outline that little nose just like that. All right. Okay. Make sure I have enough water in my brush. Okay, I have my brush just like this, but I'm just gonna flip it around and use the back of it, put it in some black like that, get my black chocolate chip, and we're gonna give him a little eye just right here above his cheek, okay, facing his nose, just like that. Just give him a little dot for his eye. Now that you know where his eye is, you can flip your brush back around and give yourself some whiskers. Now these whiskers can be anywhere you want, okay? Mine are gonna start right here by my little rosy cheek and brush down. Got one there. I'm using brown. You can use brown or black for this. I'm doing different sizes of whiskers here. Just little tiny whiskers. Love it. Okay. Now that our whiskers are on, and this might be a little drier, so you can find a place to rest your wrist. You can outline the inside of your ear with the brown while your whiskers are drying. We're gonna go all the way around the inside of our ear too with that brown. All right. It's your fun little bunny. Let's rinse our brush really well. Okay, make sure it's clean and wipe off the other side too, just in case you get that chocolate chip. We're gonna set that down. And let's grab our medium flat brush. See, it's a little bit smaller. And we're gonna do the yellow inside our wheel. I'm gonna add just a little bit of white to my yellow. Always add some white, right? That is our matra. Add some white. Let's add that yellow now around our wheel. Nice and easy, okay? It's okay if you go out of the lines. Yellow and orange are friends. It's not hard to fix any of that if you get yellow in your orange. In fact, it might not even show that you did, but we're gonna do our best to stay in our wheel, right? We're gonna go all the way around here, trying not to pick up my brush so I get a smooth edge. And by this point, your orange should be nice and dry so it won't smear into your wheel. We're gonna go around the edge. All right, so fun. Make sure that's super clean. Okay, and let's check the other wheel. Go all the way around. Yeah, let's see if we can do it without picking up our brush. You wanna make sure you have enough. See, I ran out of paint right there. So I've got to load my brush again. Go back around. I got the thick part right there. See that? If you have any thick paint, you want to brush that out so it's nice and smooth. There we go. And come around this side. Remember, circles are kind of tricky, right? I have to slow down to do these circles. Make sure we take our time and we don't paint inside the orange. Okay, I'm gonna get a smooth edge here. Trying not to pick up our brush too much. All the way around. Whew, good work. We did it. Looks awesome. Okay, make sure it's all clean. There aren't any thick clumps of paint anywhere. Okay, it's looking really cute, you guys. I'm gonna rinse my brush again. Make sure it's nice and clean. And we're gonna use our detail brush, which is our small little one again, right? And we're gonna put some yellow on it and paint right over our white. Our white should be dry now, okay? Your white should be dry. So you can go right over the top and fill it in with yellow, right over the top of it. See that? And now it's really bright. If you try and put your 
yellow right over your orange is just gonna get washed out and you won't even see it. So you gotta make sure you put that white on first. Really helps out. Okay. Coming all the way down the front, brushing that yellow right over our white. So fun. Okay, I love that. Looks good. Let's rinse our brush again, guys. Make sure it's really clean. All right, you guys ready to do some detail work? We're almost on the home stretch here. Let's get our detail brush again, make sure it's really clean. And I'm gonna put some white on it. White on my detail brush, okay? Let's go back up to our ear right here. And we're gonna make a smiley face to add a crease to our ear. So we have our smiley face with white and then our, we call it a frowny or a rainbow right over the top, just like that. Okay, and we have white on our brush. We're gonna give our wheel a little highlight right along the top here. Okay, makes it look like our wheels are spinning. Gives it some motion, right? I'm gonna do it on both of our wheels. Add that white on there. And then on the inside of the wheel too, give ourselves a smiley face on the inside of our wheel. Okay. And now we're gonna go over here to our carrot stem and add that highlight in there as well, right along the edges. Just curve your brush and give yourself a little bit of highlight in there. Some detail work. Curve it around each edge. Come around this side. Right around here. You can make it as big and as long as you want. And come around this edge, just like that. Okay, give yourself that highlight in your in your green, make that one a little longer. All right, I like that. Okay, let's rinse our brush again. All of our highlighting's done, and we're gonna let that carrot dry for just a minute, okay, while we put our background in. Now our background color is gonna be blue. I'm gonna make sure my brush is really clean, and then set it down, and we're gonna switch brushes now. We're gonna switch to our big flat brush so I'm gonna rinse it, make sure it's clean and ready to go. And I've got some blue and white right here. And my blue is really light, so I'm only gonna mix a little bit of blue at a time here with my white. So I get a light blue, okay? We want a really light blue for our background. Now remember, if you wanna change it up and make it darker, all you have to do is add more blue to yours, okay? And I love to leave some white and blue streaks in my paint. It looks like yogurt with different swirls. That gives me different shades in my background. And so we can have a little fun with that. Now, as I'm painting my background, I'm gonna move in the direction of a rainbow around my bunny. Okay, make sure you add water to your paint if you feel like it's not going on your canvas very well. You can see I have different shades, right? And my blue showing up. That's because I didn't mix my blue too much. I left some dark blue and some white in my pile here, see? I didn't mix it super well. I did more of a pat with my color in a rainbow shape, okay? Gives us these fun streaks in the sky and fills any negative space with those streaks. We're gonna make sure we get the corners of our canvas, right? And wrap the sides as you go. As I get closer to my bunny, I will add white to my brush. I like to paint all the way around, do my edges and the bottom and the top of my canvas. Okay, now I've come all the way around my bunny, and now I have my brush full of blue, 
And as I get closer to my bunny, I'm going to load it with some white on the corner. See that? Just put some white on there. Then as I get close to my bunny, I don't have to worry about getting right up next to it. Instead, I have more of a shine around my bunny, okay? Just wipe it off if you end up getting a little bit on your bunny. Super easy to fix that. So let's go around our bunny nice and slow. Just make sure you slow down so you don't paint over all your hard work, right? So I'm gonna go around it like this. Leave some of those white streaks in our paint. And come down around the inside of our bunny. There we go. Okay, let's keep going. Gotta paint around our ears and the top of our head. Okay, and keep blending in our paint with our background. All the way around. Try not to pick up my brush as I go around. It helps me smooth out my paint, right? Just keep moving around in that rainbow shape, blending it in. Okay, let's go underneath our bunny. Carefully, whoop, got some white in my ear there. Okay, we're gonna go around real nice and see there. Okay, and as I get towards the inside of my bunny ears right there, it gets a little tricky, right? To paint right in here. So I'm gonna to switch to the toe of my brush. See, I'm moving to the tippy point of my brush to fill in that space. So you can still use a big brush to fill in that space, but just make sure you turn it and use the toe instead. All right. Let's go around our stem. I'm gonna use the toe to go right in here. Very carefully, right? Carefully use that toe and come up, just like that. Okay, we're almost there, guys. Keep going around your leaves as careful as you can. Weaving some of those fun white streaks in your paint. Okay, on here and see how I'm using the toe now when I do those little corners. All the way around and up. Gotta fill that space in too. Slow down, use the toe, come back around all the way around your wheels, just like that, all right. Nice work, guys. It's tricky doing some of that slow and steady work, huh, on our painting. It takes some concentrating. You guys did awesome, I'm sure. Make sure you show us your awesome paintings when you're finished so we can see them. Okay, I just wanna make sure right here it gets blended, okay? Wanna try and have a soft line around your bunny. That's not super noticeable. You want it to kind of fade away. Okay, so we're gonna go around that nose really easily, careful. Soft with our brush. Okay, you can add these little streaks if you want of white to your painting just to fill any negative space. So if you have space like this it's open like mine, you can fill it in by adding those white streaks around your bunny in that rainbow shape. So fun. All right. Nice work guys. We filled in all of our background. So now I'm gonna rinse my brush and finish up my carrot. Now you can leave it like this if you want. We have a lot of artists that like to just leave it at this point and not do any of our outlining detail work. So if you want to, you can. 
I'm gonna take my detail brush, it's my smallest little brush, put it in some water and load it with black. You can load it with black or brown or you can mix the two. You know, if you have black and brown, you can mix those two together and get a softer black, okay? Or you can just use straight black. That goal is to just outline our carrot so it pops on our canvas. But some of our artists will just leave it like this and that's cute too. But here we go, I'm gonna go ahead and outline by starting with my green stem. I'm gonna go all the way around. Now make sure you add enough water to your paint so that it goes on real smooth. Okay, if your paint is super thick, you'll have a hard time outlining. You want it to be kind of inky. Go all the way around without picking it up. That's awesome. That's what we want. If you have enough water in your brush, you'll be able to go around without picking it up. Okay. So let's keep going. I'm gonna add a little more there. So it stands out. There we go. All the way around those little, little swirls on our stem. And up. See, I ran out of paint there. You want probably probably want to add more water to mine, then it won't do that. Okay, so if you're going around and you kind of run out of paint pretty quick like that, sometimes that just means you need more water. Okay, now I'm gonna just go around my car. I go down the edge here. Get a little more paint there because I want a clean line. We're gonna go straight across. Finish that up all the way down, curve around that corner and meet with our wheel. Okay, and do the same thing over the top, right over the top of our carrot. Get that clean line. All right, now we're gonna come down around our bunny. Oh my goodness, I made it, almost. Almost made it without picking up my brush. We're gonna come back up. Keep going. Let's keep going around our car. Finish it off. All the way down and around. Ooh, that was a good one. That was a good streak. Okay, add it along the bottom. All right, let's go along the bottom of our car right there. Now here comes the tricky part. We're going to go around our wheels. And this can be super tricky. You wanna start at the top, okay? And try and follow that outline the very best you can without picking up your brush. Here we go, all the way around. Almost, almost got around. Here we go, we're gonna go all the way around here. Finish that up. Excellent. Okay, let's do our other wheel. And try to go around here. Okay. Go around the other side. Let's see if I can do this without picking my brush up. Ooh, almost made it, huh? We're gonna come back over here. There it is, guys. Beautiful, beautiful work. That outlining is tricky, right? Take some focus, okay? So if you want, you can add any little black you want to your bunny. Clean anything up right here as you finish. Okay, at this point, I'm just going to look at my painting, rinse my brush and add any little touch-ups I want to. So right here along my car, I touched, I smeared some black. So all you gotta do is add white to your little brush and cover it up. You see that? 
And right here along the wheel, there's some yellow that came out. Just add some white to your brush. Super easy way to fix any of those little spots. Okay, and one last thing you can do if you want to on your carrot card. This is a fun little detail. You can add some red to your detail brush and just go along the edge of your car to darken those edges. See that? Kind of cool, right? You can just do that shading. Now, if you don't want to outline like this, you can float like we learned on our bunny. You can float the edges too by adding some red to the corner of a flat brush. But this is just an easy way to get that shading too for our little people. Okay, I'm just gonna go along here, follow our bunny, bunny car and add that red over the top of our orange. I like it, okay? And for those of you that want to float, I'll show you, you're just gonna take a flat brush and add a little red to the corner. And when you go up and down, see, just adds that shading to the edges of our car. You can go around your wheel if you wanna add a little more shading around your wheel. So there's two different ways to do that. You can use that detail brush to do it or a flat brush and just float the edges. Okay, you can try it either way. I'm just gonna add a little bit along that Make sure you float it to darken the edges. You like it. Super fun. All right, you guys. Let's just make sure all of our highlighting is done and you have all those extra little streaks in your painting that you like. Rinse your brush really good when you're done. And give yourself a high five because you just did an awesome job. And I'm going to now sign my work because I've worked hard and I'm proud of my piece as an artist, right? So we're going to take a detail brush, get a little bit of black or any color you like. I'm going to use black. But I mean, you have a lot of colors on here to choose from. Find a special place for your signature. Sometimes I like to hide my signature or you can just find a spot against your work. I like to find a little curve to go around and use my little detail brush to sign my name. Just like that. Okay, good job you guys. Thank you for painting with me today. I hope you had as much fun as I did. Be sure to tag us in your paintings, share them with us. We'd love to see them. We hope to see you really soon in our studio. Bye.